If you're a teenager daydreaming about making money online, I can tell you that I was in your shoes just a couple of years ago. I dreamed every single day that I could just walk out of school and be fine for the rest of my life and not have to worry about money. But obviously at the time that dream was not true and I had to suffer every single day going to school and not knowing what I wanted to do with my life. And trust me, I know there's people out there who have it a hundred times worse than I ever did. But I'm just telling you, this is the way that I thought as a teenager as I was growing up. I'm 23 years old right now and I can say with so much incredible gratitude that most of my dreams when it came to making money online have actually come true and I figured out exactly how to do it. In fact, I became a millionaire as a teenager. I became a millionaire at 19 years old, literally one day before I turned 20. So I could say I was a millionaire as a teenager for a day, but I made a lot of money. In fact, more than my parents, more than a lot of my friends while I was still a teenager in high school because I tried a lot of different things and I can straight up tell you now what works and what doesn't and what you should focus your time on if you're a teenager. But really this video applies to anybody who wants to make money online. Specifically, I'm gonna be going over 12 ways of making money online as a teenager. And let's start off with idea number one, which is running faceless YouTube channels. If you watch any of my videos here on the channel, you know that I love faceless YouTube channels because that was the first way that I made big money online as a teenager. I started my faceless YouTube channel when I was 14 years old. By the time I was 15, I was making $3,000 a month. And by the time I graduated high school, I was making $30,000 per month. And I've never had to go to college or work any kind of traditional job precisely because of running faceless YouTube channels. So I'm so incredibly grateful for them. Now I run over 12 different channels and that's the beauty of them is you can run multiple of them. So what even is a faceless YouTube channel to begin with? Well, it's basically just a YouTube channel where you don't show your face and you either make the videos yourself on it or you hire people to make the videos for you, which is now what I'm able to do. But in the beginning, I made all the videos myself. And essentially the way it works is you choose a niche, you find video ideas, you get those videos generated and there's many different ways of doing it, whether you're using stock footage, whiteboard video generation software, AI video generation software now. And then the way you make money is YouTube puts ads on your videos once you get monetized and every single time someone sees one of those ads you make a little bit more money but if you multiply those ad impressions based off of a lot of views which YouTube allows you to get if you optimize your videos correctly that can add up to a lot of money in fact channels like brainy dose are likely making tens of thousands of dollars per month from their channel and all they do is use stock videos and pictures do a voiceover on top of that and boom there's a video out there and what's so amazing about YouTube is those videos once you push them out there onto the web they can live forever on YouTube and you can keep getting views for years and years. Now, at the time when I was a teenager and starting this, I didn't know that. I just created videos, just modeling what was working and I saw other people doing it and I figured, hey, if they're able to live their dream lives, maybe I could too if I did this. But little did I know, running YouTube channels is one of the absolute best side hustles if you're any age, let alone a broke teenager trying to figure out ways of making money online, especially if you're like I was, you're awkward, you didn't want to get in front of a camera, then this could potentially be an online business to think about. YouTube is so cool too because you can do things like promote affiliate products from your channel or even your own products like if you have an online course like I do now teaching people how to grow on YouTube you can promote that from your channel it can be really good but a lot of times as teenagers we don't necessarily have skills to be able to teach other people maybe we do maybe we hone some skills from our childhood that we're able to teach others who want to learn whatever skills we have that's certainly possible but for the majority of us we might not necessarily be at that point yet but we might still want to profit from the huge industry that is online courses and online education and luckily there's still a way of us being able to do that and this is one of the next side hustles I discovered as a teenager which is affiliate marketing specifically affiliate marketing courses and basically the way this works is you find an online course you sign up to be an affiliate for it which basically means that every sale you refer you get paid a commission from that sale now how do you promote those affiliate products well as we went over YouTube is the absolute best way in my personal opinion you can also do things like run Instagram accounts write blog articles run advertisements on a variety of different platforms and when I was a teenager running my faceless YouTube channels I would find affiliate products that related to the subjects we talked about on those channels and put those affiliate products at the link in the description of my YouTube videos and boom, I sent traffic there and made some money as a result. But the way to make a lot of money doing this potentially is by promoting a digital product like a course, because let's say one sells for $1,000 and you get 50% of that, boom, you just made $500, sell 20 of those per month, which really isn't that many in the grand scheme of things in terms of how much traffic there is online, boom, you're making $10,000 per month. Idea number three is running Instagram theme pages. These are basically the equivalent of faceless YouTube channels 
Reels but for Instagram. And instead of posting long form videos, all you post are little images like text or quotes in addition to Instagram Reels, which are basically just short form vertical videos. These can be on topics like fashion, fitness, food, business, lifestyle, and there's so many other niches out there. In fact, you could even watch one of my videos about the top 30 best niches for running faceless YouTube channels and apply that directly to Instagram as well. And the way you make money doing this is you sell shout outs on your page to promote other people's accounts and so on. And I personally know several people who started Instagram theme pages as teenagers who are making full-time incomes from it today. So you could potentially set yourself up by starting one today. Now, obviously I'm biased, but I personally think that running YouTube channels is better than Instagram because the videos live on forever. You don't have to constantly keep posting more and more content like you do with Instagram. But with that being said, I've paid Instagram theme pages hundreds of thousands of dollars in order to promote my personal page, Make Money Matt, and in order to grow that. Our fourth idea for making money online as a teenager is freelance writing. You can sign up for websites like Upwork.com and get hired by companies, blogs, or even YouTube channels to write scripts or articles, and they will pay you as a result. And nowadays with doing this, we have a lot of tools at our disposal like ChatGPT, which can help with doing this immensely and make the process a lot easier. But I personally think there's a better way if you're a teenager to make money from your writing, and that is by having your own blog. And that brings me to our next idea, which is blogging. Because think about it, if other blogs are so willing to pay you to write articles for their blogs, why not just own the blog yourself? Now, obviously it is going to take some time in order to grow your blog to be able to make money from it, from advertisements you put on it with things like Google AdSense, or selling affiliate products, whatever. It can take some time, but in my opinion, as a teenager, you have time. And think about five, 10 years from now. I know it can be hard when you're young, honestly, but trust me, your future self will thank you for starting one if you start now. And just like with faceless YouTube channels or Instagram theme pages, you choose a niche or a topic for your blog and then focus solely on that and all the different angles you can go about doing that. To get ideas for articles, you can use websites like Ubersuggest or answerthepublic.com if you're doing something primarily educational base, it'll generate a bunch of questions, which can be incredibly ideal for using for titles for different articles. You can host your site with a website like WPX.net and use something like WordPress to actually create your website. There's tons of great themes out there to get one set up, exactly how I made the website mattpar.com. Side hustle number six is graphic design. You can download a software like paint.net or even use an online software like Canva or Snappa to create tons of different graphic design. And they have a lot of great built-in templates as well that you could potentially use. And then you can sell this graphic design to companies, businesses, or people who are looking for specific images to be created. These can be things like logos, YouTube channel art, Instagram posts, and the list goes on and on. And you can sell your services on places like fiverr.com or upwork.com. And I recommend selling your services for very cheap at first, or maybe even free for your first couple of clients in order to showcase your work. And then once you get that established trust, then you can start raising your prices because you'll have a couple of reviews. Idea number seven is video editing. And I know this can be very lucrative because I pay thousands of dollars per month to video editors all around the globe. And trust me, I do not care about how old you are when it comes to hiring a video editor. All that matters is that the video that comes out is good. And if you're a teenager, you can learn video editing. Like I mentioned before, time is on your side. And you can learn software like PowerDirector, for example, or Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. And let's say you charge $100 for a 10 minute video to get edited. Do one of those every single day, boom you're making $3,000 per month. And the more videos you do, the easier it'll be because you'll have more clients that you can showcase for other prospective clients who are thinking about hiring you. Idea number eight is drop shipping. This is where you sell a product somewhere online like Amazon or eBay. And then every single time someone buys that product, you have that product shipped from somewhere else automatically. A popular website a lot of drop shippers use is alibaba.com. And the beauty about drop shipping is that you don't have to actually hold any inventory yourself. That being said, the con with it is that you might not make a lot of money per sale that you get because of the fact you have to pay that fulfillment cost of having it shipped out. But I still wanted to mention it because you've probably seen it mentioned a lot in terms of ways of making money online. And I want to give you the pros and cons of it. I do think there's better ways of making money online, like running YouTube channels, for example, but I wanted to mention dropshipping here just so you have it. Idea number nine for 
start making money online as a teenager is eBay reselling. If you're a teenager, you probably have some old items, whether it be toys or comics that you outgrew, that you could potentially go ahead and sell on places like eBay. And this is actually a way that I made some decent money as a teenager. But what I would do is go to thrift stores and stores like Goodwill in order to buy items for very cheap, much to my parents' disapproval, cluttering up our house with all kinds of random junk. But some of it actually wasn't junk because I would then sell it on websites like eBay. You probably won't become a millionaire doing this, but if you just want to make some extra money as a teen, you can definitely try reselling some stuff. At the end of the day, I didn't make that much money doing this. Like I said, the major money I've made is from YouTube, but reselling things can be kind of fun and it's an extra way of making money. Idea number 10 is helping people optimize their paid ads. Almost every single company in the world pays for advertising in one form or another. And with online tools like running Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, there's so many different ways for possibilities of us helping people with that, especially if we're a teenager because we have that proof of growing up with the generation that's been involved with technology for almost their whole lives. So a lot of companies are increasingly trusting very young people, even teenagers, to handle advertising budgets on these online places. And there's so many YouTube tutorials out there about how to run Facebook ads, YouTube ads. You could also take a course on it if this is something you're serious about doing. And you can also even help create ads for different companies along with managing them and charge a monthly retainer for that. Say you charge $3,000 per month for a company to run their ads with you. You literally only need three clients and you're making $9,000 per month. And I personally have paid multiple companies way over $3,000 a month to run ads for me. Idea number 11 is creating codeless website design. Now the key word here is codeless because there's been a lot of software popping up that allows people to create very complex websites that in the past would have required that you be a software developer or designer. But nowadays you can use websites like Webflow to create very nice looking websites. And a lot of companies and businesses will pay a good amount of money for this. In fact, I recently just paid a lot of money for people to help me redesign my website. Our 12th way of making money online as a teenager is transcribing. This is very easy. Literally almost anyone can do it as long as you speak the language of the content you're transcribing. You can go to websites like gotranscript.com as well as rev.com, sign up to become a transcriptionist, literally just listen to audio or watch a video and then type out everything that's said in it, creating a transcript. And as a teenager, you don't have any bills or anything. So even though you won't make a ton of money doing this, like the most you could probably make is $100 per month as evidenced by Go Transcript. They say their top earner is somewhere around that ballpark. That amount of money could still mean something to you if you're a teenager. But personally, if you're a teenager and you do some of these side hustles that make a little bit of money, I would also concurrently be running ones that have the potential of making you a lot of money down the line, like starting your own blog or starting a YouTube channel that could potentially change your life down the line. Trust me, when you're older, you will thank yourself for doing that. And speaking of running YouTube channels, you can check out this video next to me, which is basically a free course which shows how to run faceless YouTube channels. It goes over the best niches for doing this in, how to generate tons of faceless content very easy, my number one secret to get tons of views and subscribers on YouTube, how to monetize to the next level and potentially make a lot of money, and much more. Check it on that video next to me right there. My name is Matt Parr. Hope you got value, and I'll see you next.